We just needed a little bit more rotation. I don't wonder if it's gonna explode the tires on the landing. Also, I bet you the drive, what the? I'm not clicking the stunt mortar anymore, by the way. It's just flying. Let's get up. Okay, stick to it. There it goes. Okay, come on, be careful. Just ease up. We're doing it. We are stuck to the side of a building. We can just hold ourselves up here. This video is sponsored by The Crack Pet Show. So folks, I wanna quickly tell you about one of the most bizarre games I've ever seen and it is absolutely glorious. It's called The Crack Pet Show and it's an action-packed roguelike shoot 'em up about mutated animals that fight in a bizarre TV show, crushing their opponents with a variety of weapons. And yeah, you get to choose your beastie, gear them up, and go kill your enemies in the name of fame and sweet sponsorship deals. So with tons of enemies, dozens of weapons, lots of perks and items, randomized drops and map layouts, as well as ridiculous bosses for you to test your ability to beat the game with in-game items, you can go with the flow or you can build an elaborate strategy. Anything goes as long as you're having fun. So yeah, this is the most bizarre TV show ever. It's cute, it's colorful, and it's full of a lot of uh, explosions and guns. So yeah, you guys can go ahead and get right into this game. I'll have it linked down in the description. You can play the game solo or get your friends to play with you. Did I also mention that this is a really good couch co-op game uh, that you can mess around while watching your friends die to a heated laser beam or a giant boss or get devoured by uh, dozens of the cutest hugger zombies. So yeah, if this sounds like the game for you, check out the link in the description. And thanks once again to The Crack Pet Show for sponsoring this video. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here. And today we're gonna be checking out two very awesome mods. So you see the CRD monster truck, it has seen several updates since we last checked it out. And this is an absolute beast, but you know what it pairs really good with? You guessed it, the stunt mortar. So we can do stuff like this. <laughs> So yeah, the stunt mortar has seen an update too, and it now is compatible with several other vehicles, including the CRD truck here. So we're gonna do some awesome monster truck stunts here today. And if you guys are enjoying Beam and G on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And let's go do some backflips. All right, so I've got a jump set up here. Uh, we're gonna do a normal jump in the CRD just to see what kind of air we get. Very nice, probably gonna blow up the suspension. Yeah, monster trucks not, aren't always meant to jump that high. I wonder if we hit this from the other direction. But yeah, I have the stunt mortar installed and we're gonna hit the button for it when we release off the jump. Let's go, wee! Okay, let's try to rotate it. Yeah, I've got it up a little too high, I think. <laughs> that is awesome. You know, I wonder if we'd be able to get away from the police with the monster truck and we like hop over them with the stunt mortar. But yeah, it's a cool mod. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys real quick how to install it. I'll have the links down in the description, but on the monster truck, it's just a little bit different. It actually goes up on the uh, the backup beeper. So normally by default, it's set to backup beeper or empty. And now you see the stunt mortar uh, CRD backup beeper. I think maybe you can attach it to something else, but real quick, uh, a rundown. They have cleared up the menu for this a little bit. So when you go to tuning, uh, you get a better idea as far as what the force does. So you can see the right, left, uh, front and back, up and down, or down and up. And yeah, you can adjust the force accordingly. So yeah, I have it up probably way too high. Let's cut it down a little bit. I'd like to actually see it get really clean backflips. All right, let's see if the force being turned down a little bit is gonna make this look a little bit better. All right, and full throttle and boom. Uh, it's a little better, but man, it just over rotates now. Uh, that's a thing. You know, I wonder if hitting it from this direction would be better. The uh, ramp's a little steeper, so I feel like it might work uh, a bit better. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around. Uh, I think there's a way to hook up the independent steering. Right now it's set on the default, but you can also hit G and H to help this uh, vehicle turn a bit. All right, here, let's go ahead and hit this ramp. Oh dear. Uh, man, the run up is so bumpy. Look at that, that was a legit backflip there. 
Uh, we need something bigger. I almost think taking this to like the car jump arena might be a better option. All right, car jump arena. Let's go ahead and do it normal real quick. Uh, we got our El Toro Loco here. We're gonna switch monster trucks here in a second just to show you guys what other ones are available. All right, engine has blown. Here we go. Oh yeah. Wait, can we get a smooth landing here? Huh? That was actually beautiful. <laughs> what the heck? All right, so do we think we can pull off like a triple backflip? Okay, that was beautiful. Oh, we just burst it into flames. No, this is fine. All right, so let's try this again. Also, check out the uh, interior on these. Oh, it's so cool. Some of them actually have like a little LED panel over to the side. Uh, we'll switch to one here in a second. Okay, so we're gonna go down. It's gonna blow the engine, but we're gonna use the stunt mortar to do backflips. We might even swap it around to do front flips. All right, here we go. Start rotating. Oh, no, we didn't get enough air. Uh-oh. Oh, this thing is totally screwed. Oh, no. Okay. So, the stunt mortar is going to need a bit of work and tuning here to work with the uh, with the monster truck. Right now, we're just killing the driver every time. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and grab another one real quick, and then we'll probably go into the city and maybe do some police chases with them. So real quick, this is the updated CRD monster truck mod. It is actually not on the BeamNG website. You have to go and sign up uh, to another website, but look at the amount of monster trucks. Like, anything that you could possibly want is in here. You've got Donkey Kong, El Toro Loco, Bigfoot, Gravedigger. It's all pretty much here. I think maximum destruction. There's all the max D's. There's probably like a million of them. Like they even have variants to the uh, the paint schemes and stuff. And even like different years. It is so awesome seeing how this uh, mod has evolved. But you know what? We got to go with the classic. Let's go get Gravedigger. All right, here we are with Gravedigger. We're going to do a uh, fresh install on the stunt mortar. And I'm going to change it up. We're going to see if maybe we can do maybe some front flips with it. So check this out. It's like compressing itself. You know, we need to put the forward one on. That way we can get like almost like a thruster on the uh, monster truck to make it super fast. All right, here we go. I feel like this is going to push it directly down into the ground. I could be wrong. We'll see what happens when we release off the jump. Oh boy, there's the engine exploded and we, oh, it's compressing it. So we need to go in the opposite direction and we can get some insane air. <laughs> That was glorious looking. All right, we got to try that again. Okay, we're going with another run. I think I've got the front flip setting uh, nailed down here. So here we go. Oh boy, this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. All right, it's gonna lift up and it's gonna lift the rear up a little bit more. So it should create a front flip. There it goes. Okay, it's so gonna rotate. I really wish I can counter this. Hold on, it might land. Oh, it was so close. I totally think that we can land that. If we land that, I, I need like a million more subscribers. <laughs> I'm not gonna wage anything the other way though because we're probably not gonna land that. Also, here come the tires. Okay, this is gonna be all about timing here. Let's go, boom. Okay, release. Uh, look at the rotation a little bit more. Oh, it was so close. We just needed a little bit more rotation. I don't wonder if it's gonna explode the tires on the landing. Also, I bet you the drop, what the? I'm not clicking the stunt mortar anymore, by the way. It's just flying. Uh, we almost landed in the grandstand. Why is the uh, the chassis so bouncy? That's weird. So would this be considered like cheating in Monster Jam? Is this like the equivalent to like, I don't know, steroids in the NFL? Like this is ridiculous. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, we're flying and let's start the back flips or front flips, I should say. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. <gasps> I don't think that you can land that without it exploding. <laughs> that was about as close as it's going to get. Like, I feel like we came down a little hard on the front. But yeah, I don't get how you land that uh, without it blowing the tires off. I would say that was a success, though, wouldn't you guys? All right, folks, I have a bit of a theory here. If we were to change the Z to up, it's kind of opposite feeling, but this will compress the uh, the monster truck down, or at least I think it will. So when I click X, look at that. So it's giving it almost like down force. So in theory, could we stick to a building? Like we can go full blown Spider-Man with this. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing. 
Okay, here we are in the streets of West Coast, USA. So, question is, can we drive up the side of a building with a monster truck? I kind of feel like we can. I need to find a really smooth building, though. Uh, everything's got unique architecture. Also, driving in the streets with the monster truck is not advised. Oh, and we might need to go select a building. All right, so if we go up here, hmm, not smooth, not smooth. Is there not a such thing? That one's kind of smooth. I feel like we might be able to climb up that. I'm looking for something that's smooth from top to bottom. Uh, that's decent, but it's not on a very good incline. Uh, there's the church. There's this. This one looks pretty good, but oh, you got these little bumps here for the windows. Um, ooh, maybe. No, there's a big hump down there. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to give this a go with like maybe this building and just hope that that downwards, uh, I guess, force actually holds us up on the building. Actually, you know what? This is a pretty good building. It's kind of on a, a weird incline, but I feel like it might work. So let's try this without the uh, the stunt mortar. So we'll set it up here. So when I drive up, the, or to attempt to drive up the side of this building, this is what happens. We just kind of bounce and we flip over. Okay. So if we have this, oh, come on. Let's ease up, okay, and let's do that force. <gasps> oh my, I think this is gonna, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, Han, stick to the building. This is gonna totally work. We could stick to buildings like Spider-Man. Uh, well, is there a Spider-Man monster truck? I feel like that would be the best combination here. Come on, Marvel, did you sponsor a, oh. <laughs> this is, is perfect it doesn't get any better than this we're gonna escape the police in a spider-man monster truck that can climb walls oh that is perfect all right so we're set up ready to go i think i've got the force correct also there was an option to add a driver inside the monster truck so we did that that looks amazing. So I guess we gotta break some laws and then we're gonna maybe climb a couple buildings. I also gotta use some of that rear steer. Oh yeah, they're already angry at us. Okay, let's get moving this way. We need a building to climb. Let's just lead them on a bit of a chase. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, this new CRD seems to handle a bit different. It actually turns, I would say, slightly better than the old ones. Uh, of course, it could just be a, a setting in the setup. Uh, it might not be the mod itself. Uh, but the default truck is pretty good and ready to go. Oh, okay, we can't run over that SUV. Hold on, get around him. There we go. Uh, we're going to hop on the highway, and then we're going to cruise down into the city. Hold on, let's use that rear steer a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we're going to cruise down into the city, and we are going to climb up a building like Spider-Man in order to get away from the police. Uh, this was a grand idea. Also, I forgot a monster truck actually isn't that fast. Uh, uh, this isn't good. All right, well... Uh, oh no, I think that's the cops behind us. Yeah, let's uh, take the exit ramp here. Uh, we might have to hop off the highway. I think we can make it over that barrier, right? Uh, potentially? Oh no, this is the wrong exit. Okay, uh, we gotta try it. Here we go. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. And oh, <gasps> oh, uh oh. Did we just kill the driver? Uh, and where did that. Okay, the guardrail kind of went in the front here. The driver, he's okay. Totally okay. Hold on, check his head. Yeah. Hey, that's one of the first times we had like a dummy or something in the car that they didn't die. That's got to be a record or something, right? All right, the cops are coming. We need to get up the side of one of these buildings. So here's the question. Did I set this up right? I feel like I did. Uh, I hope we have enough force to make it right up the side. Hold on, is this cop mad at me? You know what? He's gonna be now. Uh, here come the vans. They are ticked off at me. Okay, uh, which building? Which building? No, that one's not smooth enough. All right, maybe we go here. Let's take a left and we'll go back up the street and then we'll see which one we can climb. Uh, we're Spider-Man and we're, uh, we're doing crimes right now, which isn't good. <laughs> okay, maybe this building here. Okay, line it up for the cops get here. Uh, 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 and stick to it. Look at this, here we go, we're cruising. Oh, oh no, it's not good, hold on, stick to the other building. We're swinging through the air like Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man just died. All right, cops are coming from all directions. Can we crush a car uh, by squishing it, by using the downwards thrust? That actually helps a little bit. 
All right, they are on their way. They're I actually think they're right behind us. This is fine. All right, we got to find another building to get up. Uh, that one looks decent. Uh, go down here. What about what about that one? Okay. Oh no, it's got those awnings. That's weird. Uh, I feel like we'd get stuck on those. Okay, turn. Uh, I really need to map the rear steering to my uh, my controller. That would make this a little bit easier to get through these streets. Uh, let's try. You know, let's try this one. Okay, line up. Come on, baby. Oh, I hear sirens. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, we're good here. All right, let's get up. Okay, stick to it. There it goes. Okay, come on, be careful. Just ease up. We're doing it. We are stuck to the side of a building. We could just hold ourselves up here. Oh, where are the cops at? <laughs> you think they'll notice us up here? <laughs> oh, and there they are. You know, they've got to be confused right now. They're like, uh... You know, it's bad enough with monster trucks going through the city. Now you've got one that's stuck up on the side of the uh, on the side of the wall like Spider-Man. All right, let's try to ease ourselves up. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. Uh I think I'm lodged. Oh, no. The uh, front tires are stuck in the uh, awning here. On. Uh-oh. This is not good. Okay, there it goes. Oh, no. On. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're not good. Hmm. I feel like this was a bad idea. I mean, it works, but it's definitely uh, a little hard to uh, do. Uh, I'm sure you can have other settings that maybe you can change it up, probably do some more uh, awesome stunts, but be sure to go check them out down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.